did we end up here? I'm disappointed in you, son. You had so much potential. You were on the road to becoming like me, and you failed. I'm not letting you go. Not yet. I need you to tell yourself the truth. I'm taking you back to a time before you knew me. To a time when you were a different person. Welcome home, Brad. Oh, how many memories you have here. When things were simple. When life was still beautiful. There's someone I want you to meet. Don't be afraid. This is only going to hurt a little. Uh, are you alright? Oh, I'm sorry. I shouldn't be here. Do I know you? Yeah, well, kinda. I mean... You haven't seen me before, I guess. So what are you doing here? Well, I was hiding. So what are you doing? I'm just writing. You like poems? Me too. So do you know who I am? Good. So, uh, what's it like being you? Or should I say me? Do things go well? Yeah, mostly. I mean, we all run into trouble sometimes. Do I win this? Yeah, you do. You win the junior award. No way. Come on, what else? Well, well, eventually you get married and own a little house too. Yeah? Who are you married to? The girl you're writing that poem for. Catherine. Does she actually like me? Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, but sometimes things don't always work out how you expect. Sometimes they don't, you know, work out how you dream it will. Sometimes you're just not good enough. Are you still with her? Yeah, yeah, of course. Tell him the truth, Brad. Sorry, I have to go. Why? What's wrong? Nothing. I just have to get back to whatever the prison is. This is for your own good, son. I know it can be difficult telling yourself the truth, but he must know. I'll give you one more chance, and then I'll tell him myself. This way. Cool. So, um, what do you do? Like, what's your job? Well, at the moment, I'm sort of a freelance writer, and before that, I did a bit of uh, proofreading and tutoring just here and there. Oh. Cool. Um, what sort of stuff do you write about? Well, I mostly write mystery novels. I nearly got one published. Another has a bit of an online following, but well, none of them really made it, you know. You try and write something original, authentic, and, well, that's not what the audience wants. So you write something cliché, something that completely fits the bill, and you fade into the multitude, waiting for only luck or prestige to make you into something. Then you start running out of inspiration, like you forget who you are, a blank piece of paper stares at you, reminding you of the amount of success you've had. The mundanity of life just saps all hope of birthing something great. Sorry, you don't need to know that yet. Well, what's all that supposed to mean? I mean, I think it's looking for inspiration through the mundane that really sets you apart. You don't truly know the mundane until you live it day in, day out. Doing things you don't want to do. Like, living life without romance or excitement. Well, what's the answer then? I mean, that's just life, isn't it? What's wrong? You can't see it. Of course he can't see me, Bradley. He does not yet know me. Your time is up. I'm coming for you. Let's go. You can't run from me now. I'm part of you, remember?
time and time again. Hey, I try and they just throw it in my face. I've got nothing to show and they, I'm gonna lose everything. First it was the car, it'll probably be the house next. Honey, it's okay. We'll keep trying, okay? Doesn't matter what we lose, as long as you're doing what you love. I'm just really sick and tired of being rejected. I really just don't want to. I'm sick and tired of your attitude. You've let this whole stupid thing consume your life. So you think it's stupid as well? Great. Thanks for letting me know. not what I meant. It's just... This writing pursuit has done nothing but make you unhappy. I'd be much happier if I could just actually make something good. I just want to burn the whole thing and start again. It's complete rubbish anyway. It's not, babe. It's beautiful. I love your writing. What would you know? You're not a critic. You don't know anything. I'm sorry, I just can't do anything right. I'm pathetic. You always say that. To my dearest Catherine, I'm not the man I thought I was. I'm not the man you deserve. Every new day marks a new opportunity for failure. The one task I have been successful at. It pains me every day that I cannot give you the life I promised. I made you trade everything for my nothing, and I cannot live with that. With love forever, Brad. So do you want to tell me what this is all about? It's the last thing I wrote. I'm sorry, but we're nearly at the end. When were you going to tell me that you want to kill yourself? I didn't want you to have to see this. Oh, then how far you tried to cover it up? From your friends? From your family? From your wife? And let's not forget yourself. Hello, young Brad. We finally meet. My name is Success, and it was I that killed you. You wanted that which you could not have, and now you've lost that which you do not see. Now you've reached the epilogue, and you do not like who you've become. All that is left to be written is the end. No, stop! It's too late for that. Stop! So why'd you come to me then, huh? Is this some kind of warning or something? You don't get it. There's nothing you can do to stop this. There is something I can do. I sure as hell won't kill myself. But you already have, because you are me. All of this, it's in my head. I told you, we're not on the beach. I'm lying over there, probably bleeding to death. I've had my life flash before my eyes and I'm nearly at the end. They say that's what happens before you die, don't they? No. You had a life given to you, and you threw it away. But I had nothing good to show for it. You said it yourself. You had a house, a wife, food on the table. What more could you possibly want? Success. So this, all of this, wasn't a big enough success for you? My writing never- You never saw it, did you? You never saw what was sitting in front of you this whole time. The prize, the real prize. Now you've lost it all. Goodbye, Brad. So, your story is nearly up. The monodramatic ending you have created. You're starting to realize what you treated me for, aren't you? No, no, no. Sorry, I, I didn't know. I thought you'd be better off without me. I love you, baby. I love you too.